Is this thing on? It's going already? Yeah. Hi. Welcome to LFD Nader Podcast. Um, so, I have been watching uh, videos all day on the tube of Eunice uh, because for Christmas, I, I got this thing. And this thing, and this thing, Ugh. and these things, and today, we're making meth. Um, well, maybe not meth. Meth might be cheaper. Like, we might be able to make more money. I digress. Uh, oh, my wife told me that I had to tell you that if you have any kids in your house to throw them out into the cold now because um, this is not child friendly um, don't start your kids making meth under the age of 11 um, so I have been taking notes and trying to figure out this whole die thing and one thing I've learned is there's a lot of math and some people use like cups and teaspoons and tablespoons, which I'm down with. I consider myself a smart guy. And then some of them use words like milliliters. Um, yeah. Uh, so, here's some notes from what I've learned watching YouTube videos. Um, I, put, I put the date right there. Uh, I don't know why. But, uh, um, I think I have everything I need. The only things I need are a sifter, a funnel, and a measuring cup. I might have a measuring cup downstairs, but I know I make candles with it. And I don't think candle wax and yarn probably go very good together. Um, oh, and I need some aluminum, aluminum pans. <clears throat> um, so, things I've learned from YouTube. The more citric acid, the, the faster the yarn strikes. So if you're making striped yarn or speckled yarn, you want more citric acid. The dye. The dye strikes. What? The dye strikes. I thought you weren't going to be in this. <laughs> Don't micromanage from the side. The dye strikes faster, which means it sticks to the yarn, apparently. Um, for solids, you want a lower acid for even more penetration. And then I wrote the word ha over top of penetration. So step one, I think, is universal. Like, no matter who you watch, they all say step one is to soak your hanks. Um, uh, and then I wrote YouTube is inconsistent as fuck. Overnight, question mark, three hours, question mark, 20 minutes. Fuck if I know. Uh, everybody seems to do it different, so I'm just going to say that this part is open for interpretation. Um, I think I'm making collard greens in there that are going to take at least three hours. So I think three hours is going to be my, 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 my go-to. And maybe a little bit more because then after the collard greens are ready, then I'm going to want to eat the collard greens. So, however long it takes to make the collard greens and then eat the collard greens, I think that's how long we're going to soak it for. Don't take that as an official measurement. You don't need to, you don't need to uh, make collard greens anywhere in this, in this process. I, I just happen to be making collard greens. So, um, and then another one that seems to be uh, common is swatch. Like, so that you can tell what color you're actually getting um and then i wrote a note youtubers apparently have unlimited yarn to waste be careful yo you ain't fucking rich um so we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna skip this step and whatever we get is what we're gonna get um and then the lady lady said dharma true black doesn't break with speckling and speckling is something that i really want to do so i wrote that down 
And then that's where I wrote, lady went from cups to milliliters. Bitch, I ain't French. What the fuck? Um, and then people are, like, vinegar or citric acid seem to be the most common ones. Uh, one of those I have in the house. One of those I don't. I have a lum from my, from my, uh, natural dying my natural place. dying. I don't know if a lum is the same as citric acid. I don't think it is. I think it's totally different. But I have a whole bunch of alum. I wish anybody would have said alum. Um, uh, and then I wrote, they say penetration a lot, and that makes me happy. Um, and then I wrote more math. Um, so, yeah. So, all right. Bear with me. Uh, we're going to cut this off now and try to get everything figured out. Because i gotta, I got to soak my hanks. And i got, I got a pot. To both soak my hands and oh oh there's a word to set it when you're done uh steam 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 set steam set steam set steam set i think so i'm very worried about going outside and mixing my dyes with this because i'm so scared that everybody is gonna think i'm making meth as soon as if any of my neighbors see me outside wearing this in our neighborhood is probably a bad thing so to be continued all right what are you doing trying to figure out how to soak my tanks so this is what we have on we hand. have Hold on, I know from watching you how, what oh. I'm supposed to do. Okay. The base that we've used is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering. No, you would have said Stroll Fingering by Knit Picks. Bear. Either way. It is a 75% superwash merino. You would have put the R in there because my wife puts R's in her in wash. And 25% nylon. Oh boy. Okay, so I gotta do something with these, and I've never, I mean, I've used zip ties. My wife and I use them quite often in the bedroom. Uh, don't give me that look. All right, so I'm, I'm assuming I need three of them, and they basically use these as handles from what I've, uh, from what I've gathered. I don't know how I'm gonna, re I've never reused a zip tie before. I think oh, it has God. like a release. Yeah, it does. So they seem to do it. Okay, so I, I don't want it tight. If I've learned anything, because these are these are going to be handles. That's all they're going to do. And if it's too tight, it will create resist on your yarn, and that spot will stay white. I thought you weren't going to be in this. I thought this was going to be the Johnny Bow show. It is. Go ahead. The Nitty Bow, Johnny Bow. Oh, God. Show. Right. What's the right way to do this? There's a right way, and there's <laughs> definitely a wrong way, and I feel like I've already... <sighs> Babe, help. You have to find where it's tied at. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Now put right. your arms in it and give it a good thwack out. <laughs> That's <laughs> fun to do. I think we now have a couple extra yards. That helps straighten your fiber. Your <laughs> yeah, it does. That's like rookie stuff. I knew that. And then we're going to do that again. And we're just making a handle from what I understand. Wait a minute, do you even have to do the handle for just the soaking part? You should. Okay, all right, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it's already going better than it did last time. And now it's, it's now it's. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, look at that. Your dad's a something. No, right. yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I will put you up for adoption. 
right. Handle. We got three. All right, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. I'm already. All right. Cool. All right. We're already up to speed with the with the internet people. Keeping up with the Joneses. But only if there's internet diarist named Joneses. Right now, I'm keeping up with uh, the lady, the lady with the Hanukkah sweater. Rebecca from Chemnitz. And the lady that smells uh, spells fiber wrong. Because she's British or European. Yeah. Fibre. What was her name? I don't remember. I liked her. Okay. I liked her. All right. Now we got to soak it. All right. We got to soak it. I got a feeling that this isn't going to be a big enough pan that I'm going to end up with tangled spaghetti. All right. So now that it's not in the white things, it doesn't... Ugh. I think I'm going to do two. I'm going to do two and one and then one and another. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. Be right back. segment. One thing everybody does seem to be agreeing on is one of these masks so that when the powder stuff you don't end up with third testicle or anything. Um, and then nitrate gloves which you see here. Nobody wore one of these but my mom-in-law got me one so I'm protecting my nice hooded shirt. These are safety pajama pants that you can get at any Walmart. There's some ankle for you and a nice uh, polymer crock. I'm ready to mix some dyes. All right, man. So after lots of uh, trying to figure it out, like, the hardest part is actually, like, as long as I've dreamed about doing acid dyes, which has been a couple years now, mm -hmm. um, one thing I never got was a plan. <laughs> Apparently, uh, nobody said that in the videos, is it's good to have a plan. Like, I got here and I was like, sweet, I got all these colors, and then I ordered, like, 12 more. <laughs> um, and then realized... I have zero plan as to what I wanted to do. So I'm doing simple. I'm doing three colors. Blue, yellow, and green. And I may... I want to speckle. I always think speckles look cool. So I may speckle with either the fluorescent fuchsia that I have inside or the flamingo pink. But we'll have to see how this turns out first. But I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready. I took the tape off of these. I'm getting ready to mask up and then make my dies, which I think we have the measurements all correct. The only thing is like the lady from Chemnitz. Chemnitz, my wife has her respirator on already, said to do it in the cups and stir as you go. But my wife says just do it straight in the bottle. So I think we're going straight for the bottle. I think I'm gonna do half and then half the 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 dye and then shake and then add the rest and fill and shake some more. <laughs>
I got it on. So. Oh. You have eight cups of water mm -hmm. and three tables. No, nope, three tablespoons of vinegar. Okay. What do I do? So you need to. Oh. Kind of get it. Separate it. Uh huh. And then you gotta get it to go in, and then you're gonna. Oh, good thing we did this before it got. I wonder if two, three skeins are gonna fit in there. I'm all vinegary. Three, three skeins fit in all the other ones. I don't know if I bought the right size pan. I mean, I oh. just bought pans. So. Oh. Well, guess what? You're gonna fit three. We're gonna fit three. Yeah, you need to. Yeah, I'm glad we decided not to let the water get hot first. Well, make sure it's evenly dispersed. Dispersed, yeah. So put that side down. I'm not supposed to be helping him as much. That does not seem like a lot of water, but now my hands smell like vinegar. <laughs> I hope that's not too much. Like, we don't need this pot anymore. You guys are sitting on a toy dump truck. <laughs> that's our boom. If we were, a, if this were a Michael Bay film, that would be motorized. All right. Uh. Ugh. Now we wait. <laughs> And uh, do we put the lid back on it? I would. You would? Okay. Lid's going on it. All right, it's got a cool. How do you feel, Bo? I definitely made some mistakes, and mm -hmm. uh, those mistakes are about right that area right there. <laughs> and what did you do wrong? I didn't listen to my wife. 
Um, but you were trying to speckle. I was trying to speckle, and I speckled too much, and I got a big blob of black. <laughs> and then I messed with it when I probably shouldn't have messed with it. But dude, this right here, like that right there, I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. And then the fact that this is still... Speckly? Well, no. Kind of like not dyed, but it brought on its own color from the overlappings. I dig it, dude. I, I, I really do. I think it's pretty. We'll see what it I looks really like do. dry. I don't... Yep. And you can definitely still see how you got some speck... Like, see that little tiny speckle? Yeah. Yeah. Look, I shouldn't be sticking then, my like, hand in it. Although it's right pretty there. clear. You want to show them how clear the water is? Just lift up oh. the edge and oh, show them. yeah. Clear water. Woo, clear water. And look, you roll it over, and there's some speckling that came through on a side that I did not speckle. Or wait, That's the that side is you the side did speckle. Yeah. that I speckled. And look at these. There's speckles there. Yeah, dude. I I for your first time, yeah, I man. feel like it's been productive. And I had fun. I got to do something cool with my wife. So well, that makes me happy. With me just micromanaging. <laughs> I've watched so many videos, though, so that makes a whole big difference that I've watched so many videos of people dyeing yarn. And, like, even some of the places where the blue, like, right here, the blue, I squirted it there, but because of the bottle leaking, it went there. And, like, if I were trying to do, like, matching stuff, I might have been pissed, but I'm not. Yeah. Uh, I want to put a little bit of blue right there. But I was just saying how you I did You can. That. I mean... But, you can still put, but no, we've turned no. the heat off at this point. Yeah, so now yeah. we're just waiting we're to rinse it and see if any of it bleeds. Hopefully it's set enough. I think I'm really gonna like this color. Here, let me see these. See my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> that was not I supposed think to be. You just recreated my shirt. <laughs> um, so now I can see why people that do this are so excited. <laughs> like, I have. I have yarn man like this was just white and now it's not but there is a lot of waiting involved and i am not the kind of person that is built for a lot of waiting so this was literally torture and i kept running downstairs and like looking at every single one as it was drying and and ah oh, man picking it apart on my mistakes and where i went wrong and what I can do in the future. But like, look man, I've got speckling. <laughs> That's speckling. And one of them, I've still got yellow. Like there is yellow in there. But two of them, I don't have much yellow. It kind of turned to greenish, lime green. But like, I have three skeins of yarn that kind of are the same. But dude, I got some learning to do because like, if I were, I'm looking at it like if I were putting this out to, to sell as one consecutive thing, I'd miss the mark completely. Like, I don't know how y'all do it to where you're like, with all this going on and you've got three products or how, 100, 200 products and they're all going out looking exactly the same. I don't know how y'all do that. Um, <laughs> I do have. That was supposed to be speckling. That was, uh, that was my wife saying, don't use the spoon! And I used the spoon. And 
That was the first blob. But I've still got like actual speckling there, but I do have a big black blob. Um, but dude, this is fun. Um, I highly recommend you try it. It's not, oh God, I don't want to say it's not that hard because I don't want to diminish what these people do out here every day. But this, once I had a plan and I knew what I wanted to execute, was fun. Got a lot of work to do on trying to make it consistent. I think next we're going tonal. We'll see. <laughs> My wife is um, judging me on how I ended it because I know she's got like a, a fancy catchphrase like, happy. I don't have one of those. So I'm just going to say To be continued. <laughs>